Hello, welcome back to the channel. This is your first time. My name is Rich. This is the Corvette Posse channel. And today we are going to do a review on a Civic Type R. So, uh, like I said, you know, we just have as, as interesting cars come available to us. We'll, uh, we'll certainly give them a, give them a look at. And uh, this is actually one of those cars I've always liked. Uh, I've always kind of been a Honda fan. We'll talk about that a little bit later. But uh, this car, when it came out, uh, I just kind of like it. It's a uh, sporty 305 horsepower, uh, six-speed, adjustable suspension, uh, turbocharged. Pretty, pretty cool. Um, not super sure about... It's a hatchback, um, and this big wing is kind of one of those things. Either you love it or hate it. I happen to like the wings, so it, uh, it works for me. It's got this uh, got this funky triple tailpipe exhaust system, which we'll uh, we'll check that out here in a second. But uh, this is a 2018. It's a, it's a gray. Um, it's got the has huge Brembo brakes. It's got sport con sport sport contact Continental tires. So these are uh, 245 30 20s. They're 20s all the way around it. Got that red lip on there, kind of cool. This car with the uh, with the Type R package obviously comes. It's got a splitter on it with some winglets. It's got a little skirt. It's got this carbon fiber on it with a little. I don't know if that's a. I don't know if you call that a canard or what you call that, but it's got a little thing up there. It's a huge wing. This thing is really big, and uh, yeah, I mean it's four door. It's a pretty decent back seat. It's got the red seat belt, got the carbon fiber look on the rear of the of the front seats. You get in here, and it's got it's got these Recaros, and these seats are incredible. Uh, the bolsters on these things is just just super nice. Uh, it's got nice micro like microfiber suede in the uh, on the console here. Um, I'm assuming maybe that's the I don't know what that is. But here's the uh, suspension settings. So overall, pretty just a pretty cool car. It's got some red stitching here. Uh, this is pretty much standard in all of them, but it's got this red piping going along here. Along the edge, a little carbon fiber on the door. On the door, some red. Uh, this car does not come with a sunroof though, or moonroof. I'm kind of surprised by that. Would have thought that they would have came with that. So, yeah, all around, uh, pretty nice car. I like it. I love the get the metal, the metal shift knob. Now, something with, and we'll talk about this as we go for a drive. Something with this, these uh, these Honda transmissions are just, uh, they're just solid. They, uh, they're just they're they're notchy, but not notchy in a bad way. They're they're just really solid, solid shifting. So really happy with that. Clutch feels effortless on this car. So uh, let's take it for a spin. See what we think. Okay, so we'll see if. Well, obviously this one has a yeah. So with my Civic, because I had a I had a Civic Si uh, turbo, this same model. So a lot of this should be the same. But you have uh, configurable dash options here. Well, oh, there we go. So you can you, you can see your turbo spool. You can see this one shows you it's like it's like a shift light. So. As you rev it up, that'll go. We'll, we'll show that here in a second. Uh, you can show your G's. You can. It's got a stop stopwatch. You can check your your mileage. This is just. Yeah, a bunch of other features there. So we'll go right now. We'll go with the uh, with the turbo spool for the moment. Um, now down here, as I mentioned before, down here is the is the uh, suspension settings. So right now I'm in sport. If I go backwards, I can go to comfort, go to sport, and then you can go to R, uh, or it's also called sport too. 
So what we'll do is we'll drive, we'll check out all those different settings, see how the feel is, um, and let's check it out. So let's hit it. We all got into traffic. Uh, this thing is noisy. These tires, these tires got quite a bit of howl to them, but uh, yeah, it's to, to be expected. Probably gonna be a little stiff. I'm in comfort mode right now, and the, actually the ride is not too bad. Um, it's fairly, it's fairly supple. I mean, you know, it's. It's a little stiff because you—I mean, you know you're in a sports car for sure, but uh, but you know it's not bad. This because we're cruising along. I said the tire noise could be part of the, partly the road. But the tire noise is, is pretty loud. Obviously, these Continentals are for sport. So driving along, um, obviously, you know the shifter is just this thing shifts just incredibly smooth. So they're notchy, but they're notchy in the right way. Um, if you drive along. Um, really, yeah. I, this is a nice car. Like I said, I had my, uh, I had an SI Civic and drove it for about about a year and a half, and it was a great car. I actually, absolutely loved that car. Uh, it was the one. I can't. I don't know if it's a 1.5, 1.6 liter, uh, but at 200 horsepower, and it was, you know, it was pretty peppy. Handled well. Um, for you know, for a normal daily driver type car, really enjoyed it. Uh, but you know, the difference between that and this was, you know, I paid twenty, just over twenty thousand dollars for that car. Uh, this car stickers or starts like thirty six thousand dollars, so uh, quite a bit more expensive for uh, for what you're getting there. So what we'll do is we'll just kind of cruise around. We'll see. Uh, I'm letting some temperature, I'm trying to get some temperature in the uh, in the motor, temperature in the tires. We'll go see how, how, how it handles around a couple corners, and we'll uh, step on it and see how it feels. Uh, like I said, this is a 300 horsepower, 300 horsepower, uh, two liter, uh, made it to a six speed transmission. Uh, magazines have it about a 13 six quarter mile, um, so we'll see. I mean, you know, obviously, you know, it's, it's going to be it's going to be pretty peppy for this type of car for a little hot hatch. It's gonna be pretty peppy, so we'll uh, we'll take it out. We'll take a little drive here. I get it warmed up, get some air in the rest, heat the tires, heat the engine, and we'll, uh, we'll check it out, and see how it does. Okay, so first, I'd like to apologize for the audio in this uh, in this video. I'm testing out some new microphone options, and uh, it's not working. Out. It wasn't working out very well for this one, so uh, we'll fix this up. But this clip actually was probably just the worst, and uh, so I'm just gonna talk you through it. Uh, as I mentioned before, the ride is a little stiff, uh, but that's what you'd expect from a performance-inspired hot hatch. Um, you know, they do have some options. The uh, touring option is, you know, is okay. It's not bad. Um, you know, obviously you're working with some tires, some low-profile performance tires, so it's going to be a little stiffer than than most, but, uh, you know, still not terrible. Um, acceleration with this car is uh, is very linear. Um, you know, it's, you know, the turbo, when the turbo comes in and it comes in, it spools in very nicely. It doesn't just, like, slam it, uh, you know, hammer the, hammer the turbo on, and then you lose, you know, kind of upsets the car. Um, you know, it does spool up. You can feel it spool up. You know, see the pants. It definitely is coming in pretty hot, but uh, not enough to really upset the car and mess around with it. So I, I like how Honda has done that. Um, you know, as I mentioned, the, uh, the driving, the different driving modes, acceler uh, you can definitely tell a difference in the steering between the driving modes. Uh, you know, the, tour the touring side is really, you know, it's minimal, minimal effort, you know, for a smaller car, minimal effort. Uh, but when you get up to the Sport and the, uh, and the R+, Plus, it is really really stiff which um from my experience with the honda si uh that's quite that's it's good inspiring or it's confidence inspiring as you're driving along hitting uh you know, hitting some high high g corners so uh works out very very well um another thing honda does in the different driving modes is it will adjust throttle response and then uh, also the turbo how much how much boost you actually get so as you get up into the sport or the r plus um, you can you can feel the throttle response. Um, you know the, the car's being a little more responsive, and you get maybe a pound or two more uh, more turbo, uh, more boost. So you can tell a little bit of difference on the driving modes. Um, you know, all in all, I think this is a is a great little car. Uh, certainly, you know, four doors makes it makes it work uh, for a family for a small family. Um, but you know, something you got to think about is the thirty six thousand dollar price tag. It's it's pretty high. Um, you know, even though this is a great car, it's still quite a bit of money um, for what you're getting when you're really, you know, essentially buying a, a really just a souped up Civic. So uh, something to consider, but yeah, definitely a solid performing car. Honda's built, you know, as you would expect.
back Honda's built a very very nice car um, and now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and do a little bit of uh, driving from the uh, you know, show you just a little bit of, from the driver's point of view so here we go Okay, so we are back, and yeah, I mean, I think one thing I didn't mention or didn't talk about much, uh, and, I, and I really should have, is these brakes. Uh, these things were, were very, very good. Obviously, Brembo comes on a lot of cars, a lot of performance cars, and these were very, very good. They stopped this thing on a dime. So, okay, we're, well, that's about it. Really, I think, I think uh, this is a pretty cool car. It really makes me miss my, uh, my Civic. Uh, we'd like to get back in one, but got some other stuff I'm working on right now. Uh, and a new car, a new Civic is not on my list. But these here, like I said, they stick for 36. You can option them up, but uh, you can probably get one uh, now. This one's on the lot now for 32, 33 thousand dollars. And uh, yeah, so I mean, I think it's really it's a it's a super good performance car. Uh, obviously, will fit the family because it's got four seats. But uh, yeah, I think it's something certainly to uh, to check out if you're into hot hatches. This is uh, this is absolutely a great performer, and uh, a special huge special thanks to uh, the guys at McLarty Honda for helping us out with this and let us take the car out for a drive. Really appreciate their help and their support. So check them out. I'll put the link down in the description. Thanks and have a great day.